Nintendo games have an insanely large fanbase, and that fanbase would not let a game die decades after its release. Games like Super Mario 64 have thrived and survived in the gaming world through speedruns. When I think of speedruns, I think of many Nintendo games at the front of the gaming genre. Games like Super Mario 64, which still has one of the largest speedrunning categories, Super Mario Odyssey, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You've probably heard of the regular speedruns such as Any% where the player starts a new game and has to beat the game and defeat Dark Beast Ganon as fast as possible. But there are many other categories, such include all dungeons, all main quests, all shrines, even 100% completing the game. But there is another subsect of speedruns for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This section is called Breath of the Wild Category Extension, which has some different speedrunning categories to say the least. But these speedruns are not for beginners, that's for sure. Bread percent. This is a category, you guessed it, about making bread, but you have to do it as fast as possible. This speedrun was made by another Zelda YouTuber by the name of The Bread Pirate, who gave the idea to Random Gamer NX. Speedrun.com has some guidelines for what can qualify as a speedrun, but they are very lenient. All you need is three people to do the speedrun and then for it to be verified. For the third person, they got Les GG Gaming, and the rest is history. There are currently 31 people who have completed the Bread Percent speedrun. The fastest time achieved was by Cephla, it was a time of 15 minutes and 48 seconds. Die Percent. This is a particularly cool category. As you may have guessed it, you need to die as fast as possible. But it isn't that simple. On speedrun.com, there are many categories within this category. As we all know, there are many, many ways to die in Breath of the Wild, all which take varying amounts of time to achieve. So the solution for this was to put many different ways of dying as their own different categories within Die Percent. Some of which include Fall Off a Cliff, Dying by Guardian, Dying by Ice Water, Drowning, Dying to Bees, Dying in a Bog, and my favourite, Dying to Koga, the Yiga Clan Master. These are all in ascending order of time taken to achieve death by that method, with a Fall Off a Cliff being achieved within 59 seconds and 233 milliseconds by Zeref. You may be asking why I included milliseconds into the time. That's because it's such a tight race for the second fastest speedrunner that Dovahkiin has a time of 59 seconds and 333 milliseconds. And it's not only those two, the whole fall off a cliff section all differentiate in time by only hundreds of milliseconds in each position. Where the death of Koga, which is humiliating by the way, has been completed in a time of 22 minutes and 13 seconds by the infamous Player 5. What makes this Player 5 so special? Or maybe the fact that he holds the Any% world record, the All Dungeons world record, the All Main Quest world record, the Master Sword and Dungeons world record, the Great Plateau Any% world record. Anyways, you get what I mean. This person has conquered the scene, taking home numerous number one positions and many more finishing lore on the pedestal. So it only makes sense that he has attempted and taken home first place in multiple of the extended categories. The butter dog, dog, dog with the butter on him. The the butter, butter For your sake, I hope you have seen the meme. That would make this all make so much more sense. This category is also very true to its name though. You must start from a new game and the timer ends when the take prompt for goat butter appears after dropping it in front of or on the dog. You have to appreciate that they give you the choice of just giving the butter to the dog regularly or buttering up its head with some goat's butter. This speedrun has a time of 15 minutes and 45 seconds by a player named Korox. Marriage percent. This category is a staple amongst games, and Breath of the Wild is no different. You must start a new game, and the timer ends when you watch the cutscene of a couple getting married in Tarrytown, which is on the Lake of Akala. There's not much more to say about this category, other than its record is held by Otsuri, with a time of 44 minutes and 59 seconds. Now look, I take this category as seriously as the rest of you, but I can't imagine spending nearly an hour of my life on this. Much respect to the speedrunners, of course, but I prefer a shorter die percent category, which only takes a minute. Go home and die percent. Speaking of short speedruns, this one is a good one. Go home and die percent record is held by Kamali with a time of 3 minutes and 67 milliseconds. It starts like any regular any percent speedrun by glitching out of the wall in the first room with the Sheikah Slate, but instead of going up the mountain, you head straight towards the exit of the Shrine of Resurrection. After the cutscene, you go and grab an axe near the old man. God, I hate that guy. And you cut down a tree to grab some firewood. Then you drop down the mountain to the left and grab some flint. Once you have these crucial items, you teleport back to the Shrine of Resurrection, 
place down the wood and the flint, then hit it with the axe and burn yourself to death. Now this, this is how Breath of the Wild is meant to be played. It's just beautiful stuff. Rake in Lake Percent. By now you must be understanding that they are all pretty true to their name. This is a speedrun held by Dovahkiin with a time of 2 minutes, 52 seconds and 33 milliseconds. This speedrun starts at the very beginning and ends the frame the rake hits the water. This one, more true to any percent speedruns, starts with Link glitching out of the starting room and climbing up the snowy mountain. From there you just continue straight and grab the shield from the Bokoblin camp. You might be asking, why would you grab a shield in a speedrun that doesn't go into any shrines or fights any enemies? The answer to that is the shield surf to get better time, silly. So from the camp, you go right and you surf down the hill towards the old man's house. As you reach near the house, there will be a rake waiting for you. Now this is where the time saving comes in. You gotta go back to the Bokoblin camp you just missed, take the bow so you can bullet time bounce off one of their heads to reach the ocean. Once you land in the ocean, bam, it's done. Even though it's a very simple speedrun, there's plenty of room for error, and precise movement is needed in order to get number one. Dank Percent. Dank Percent is a category that at first glance seems silly, because how does that make any sense? Link can't smoke. But my friend, that is where you're wrong. As in this speedrun, you glitch out of the starting room and head up the snowy mountain. From there, you run to the Cobblin camp, steal their torch and shield. You then run through the fire and perform the weapon smuggling glitch, which allows Link to run and whistle with the torch still lit in his hand. I believe you're starting to realize where the dank part of this comes in. Once the glitch is completed and the whistle starts, the timer ends because it looks like Link is smoking the biggest doobie of all time. Become Monkey Percent. This category is going to go down as an all timer, as in this speedrun, you must start a new game then get a banana and eat that banana while crouching while a monkey sound effect is playing in the Farron jungle. This is ridiculous, first of all. I'm all for Link becoming monkey, because who doesn't want to become monkey? Second of all, there is so much to do. You have to obtain bananas and make it to the Farron jungle. Honestly, in contention for my favorite speedrun. Player 5, of course, holds this record with a time of 15 minutes and 42 seconds, with second place being nearly two whole minutes behind him. Player 5 is the ultimate monkey. Mount Percent. Now from the name of this one, you might think, oh, this is easy, you just have to mount an animal. Oh, you poor thing. You couldn't be more wrong. This category has to be one of the harder and more precise ones on the list of extended categories, as you don't have to simply mount one animal, but all mountable animals. That's insane. This includes the Lord of the Mountain, Giant Horse, Royal Horse, any normal horse, Bear, buck, doe, stall horse, any Lionel, by just mounting it since it isn't tameable, and Tiba Sidon. That is a whole 10 creatures you need to mount, and some of those are hard to mount. The giant horse, for example, takes so much stamina to tame. Oh, did I not mention? You also have to tame the animal if possible. Insane. Sir William SSB holds the record with a time of 49 minutes and 6 seconds. All the power to you, brother, but I can't imagine anyone going for the record anytime soon. There's a reason why there's only been seven official runs in this category. Rapid fire round. Blindfolded. Must obtain the glider completely blind with no assistance. Champion percent. Timing ends when the last arrow makes contact with Dark Beast Ganon. You must obtain the Master Sword, Champion's Tunic, Hylian Shield, and Hylian Trousers before defeating Ganon. Then there are some super hard categories, such as Damageless. It's just the any percent speedrun, but you can't take damage at all. Master Sword Dungeons and Towers. You have to get the Master Sword, activate all towers, and complete all Divine Beasts. And all quests. But you have to complete all the quests in the base game, which is a top time of 8 hours and 20 minutes. These are all the extended category speedruns that I find either very weird or very cool or maybe a, a bit of both. Uh, if you have any other speedrun categories that you find interesting, please comment them down below, as all the ones I listed, I thoroughly enjoy. Which is why I cannot wait for the Tears of the Kingdom to come out. So many more stupid speedruns to be made on those floating islands. Like and subscribe for more Zelda videos, and check out my most recent video, which is, I bet you have never done some of these things.